welcome to English at Work, where things have got rather dramatic. Anna's on her way to the airport to try and catch Tom before he boards his flight to Australia and his new life on the other side of the world. But will she get there in time? Thanks. Excuse me, do you know where the check-in desk for flights to Sydney are? Oh yeah, over there, love. Desk number forty-seven. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I always fly business class. It's the kind of guy I am, actually. Shame you're not available to fly with me, but you know. Tom, Tom. Anna, how? how what? What? What are you do? What are you doing here? <sighs> Don't go. We need you. I need you. But I don't understand. You rejected me. Yes, but, but. But what, Anna? What are you going to say? How can you tell him you were wrong and you've changed your mind? Hmm. I don't know. Tell him I've been doing a lot of thinking. Say, I didn't realize how much I missed you until you'd gone. Yeah, and tell him I've changed my mind. I will marry you. Yeah, yeah, I heard all that, and that other man who you were always talking to. Oh, right. I see. Well, Tom, will you marry me? Why should I? After all you've put me through. Yeah, why should he? Because Tom, you're a funny guy, and I love you, and I can't live without you. Ah. Let me think about this. Oh, okay. If you put it like that, yes, I will marry you. Oh, Tom. <laughs> Hooray! At last, we got there in the end, but not without using these phrases. I've been doing a lot of thinking. I didn't realize how much I missed you until you had gone. I've changed my mind. I will marry you. And I love you, and I can't live without you. I won't be needing these anymore. Join us very soon for the English at Work Wedding of the Year. Bye.